When you've got areas in transition like this one, if you get in early enough at the start of that initial growth wave, you can ride the capital growth, providing that you're in an area that's not gonna be oversupplied. But bringing new product like this to a market is a really good thing for the market because across the other side of the road, there is existing homes that aren't being developed. And in this particular instance, they can't be developed. This is the line in the sand. So these homes are on much bigger blocks on the other side of the road. And when they're selling new product for the same or more than the older houses, it can only mean that these houses on the other side of the road lift in value. So either you buy into one of these estates, you buy a new home, you get in really early and you ride that initial growth wave. Or if you're too late, or if you don't like buying in estates like this, you can consider buying like across the road from these, providing that you come in at the right market cycle. If you come in at the peak of the market, then, you know, of course, if the market's dropping, then don't expect to ride that growth wave if there isn't one. But what it do does normally mean is the properties that are existing will rise in value as new homes start to get built because the new homes demand a premium price.